Hey there, Leo. Welcome to your reading for the week of July 13th, something like that, I think. Uh, thank you for being here. Uh, this week, if you uh, want to catch me live, all you have to do is subscribe, hit the bell notification icon, and you'll catch me live. I go live every single day at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Ugh, I love this reading already put, uh, here. Leo, this is amazing. Extremely positive. Very good for money, by the way. Um, but anyway, Leo, by the way, I'm trying to slow my readings down. Uh, you know, I get a lot of comments still that I speak too fast. I'm trying, people. I'm trying my best to slow down my talking. So let me know how I'm doing. The encouragement definitely helps. But Leo, I'm actually going to take this extra card as well. You have two extra cards here. So that's nice. This is a beautiful, beautiful reading. Uh, I like this a lot for you here, Leo. I keep wanting to say Pisces. Um, I and um, so uh, which is weird. I haven't even done Pisces reading today. So uh, I, f I feel like some of you could be dealing with a Pisces. It keeps wanting to like leave my mouth, so I'm going to say it. But you have the lizard spirit first. This card says, dream the world into being. So this is a card of manifestation. Um, you know, I have said it to several signs this week that with the astrology, I mean, it is manifestation on steroids. Like we could manifest things very quickly with Neptune in Pisces, speaking of Pisces, and we could manifest things very quickly. The problem is, is that um, we probably won't see it. <laughs> so it's like, you know, we, it, there is an element of needing to trust things when Neptune is retrograde. But I feel like you could be literally dreaming your world into reality. And look at this row. You have the Ten of Pentacles, the Two of Cups, and the Eight of Pentacles. Amazing. Uh, to me, the two pentacle cards are very good for long-term wealth, especially the ten of pentacles. I literally feel like some of you in this row are just finding long-term wealth, or maybe you are focusing on creating more long-term wealth in your life, more long-term success. Uh, on top of that, you have the two of cups here, and you also have the ace of cups, nine of cups, so I feel like there could be new love coming in for you here, Leo, and if you're looking for love. That Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles to me is the best love card in the deck. Uh, Ten of Pentacles to me is like having a relationship with a person who is your treasure, someone who is permanent as well. So I feel like some of you could be getting into a relationship with a person who you might end up having a family with in the future. The Two of Cups is like soulmates. So I like that. The Eight of Pentacles, I feel like is saying that I feel like it's almost like you are realizing that every relationship before this one that's about to come in for you was almost like training for this relationship. It was like to get you ready for this person. I feel like some of you literally have been raising your vibration, whether you know it or not. And I feel like that's why you're, it's like you're attracting someone who matches your vibration is the message that's popping into my head, which is kind of weird. Um, the reason I'm saying it is that there's this caduceus here in the middle, the snakes here wrapped around a staff and it kind of represents your vibrations. And so I feel like that a lot of you are kind of finding that um, vibrational match in a person. So that's pretty interesting. Uh, like I said, for work, it looks amazing for money. We're going to clarify this at the end, by the way, here, Leo, and we're going to get more detail. Uh, next, you had two cards again. Yeah, protection. Look at this. I love when this happens. You have protection in taking risks. So I feel like there is some sort of risk that you could take this week, and it's like you're protected from the risk is what this says. This reminds me of Joker energy. When I used to read only playing cards on the channel, I used to say that the Joker card, when it came out, is a card of being above persecution. It's a card of being protected in your life because the Joker, like in the time of kings, Jokers were the only people that could make fun of the king and not be killed. <laughs> so, you know, it's like a card of being above persecution, being able to take certain risks maybe that you wouldn't normally want to take, but it's like you're protected at this time. So I feel like you can kind of take bigger risks right now. Uh, we're not talking about like crazy, ridiculous risks here. You know, we're talking about calculated risks. We want to be smart, of course, but, you know, you can definitely take a bigger risk. Uh, this could be making an offer in love, is what I'd say to you, Leo. You have the Ace of Cups, the Two of Wands, and the Page of Pentacles here. I feel like for some of you, the risk that you're taking is just letting someone know that you are in love with them. That Two of Wands is definitely leaving a comfort zone. I always say Two of Wands, there's a village 
down in this bottom corner here, Leo, and it kind of represents the fact that, you know, he has the whole world in his hands, and it just represents the fact that he is leaving a comfort zone. He is leaving something behind. The Page of Pentacles is like a total new beginning for you here. Uh, I also, there's just like this element of learning here, Leo, Eight of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles. So I feel like you have kind of like education has made you less fearful. I always say the fastest way to get over a fear is to learn about it and because then you realize that it's not very scary. So I feel like some of you are learning something, but your cup is definitely overflowing here, Leo. And I feel like there's a lot of success coming in. Uh, next, you have the clean it up card here. So I feel like you're just cleaning things up here. Uh, for some of you, you could be cleaning something up with a person from the past, um, especially down here. In this row, you have the Nine of Cups, the Seven of Pentacles, the Knight of Wands, and the Strength card. Um, I'm getting a weird message here on this Knight of Wands. I feel like you're almost looking at someone like a baby. You know, like I feel like maybe this is a person who was in and out of your life in a past relationship, and I feel like they could be coming back to you at this time, or maybe they already have. And I feel like this could be you reflecting on the situation. And it's like maybe this person really upset you, maybe they really hurt you, or maybe they really, you know, made you mad in the past. But now I feel like you're, you almost have pity um, for this person. It's almost like you're um, looking at this person as just not evolved. Like I said, you're raising your vibrations here. So I feel like you're just kind of almost feeling sorry. Like I don't think you're taking it on personally, but I feel like you could be looking at someone and kind of just saying, you know what, they're just not evolved, you know? And I feel like that's how you could be looking at it. You have the Nine of Cups and the Seven of Pentacles. Nine of Cups is like fulfillment, satisfaction. This, this is like one of those situations where it's like maybe you were totally satisfied with this person at one point. But the Seven of Pentacles, like things changed. Seven of Pentacles is a change in direction. You know, it can be a card of delayed results, but it can also just say that you're just changing direction. You're moving on to something else. So I feel like for some of you, this took a lot of strength because you have the strength card here, which is you, Leo. But I also feel like that it was for the best. Um, like I said, I don't think this is not coming up as something that you're sad about anymore or anything like that. I feel like it just more of almost like a realization. And I feel like you could be cleaning up the energy here with this card. Uh, for others, I feel like this is you charging towards desire. Um, the Nine of Cups is like joy, happiness. The Seven of Pentacles is like realizing that you have learned enough from Six Pentacles. It's like, you know, this is a card of growth and it's a card of growing things in your life or trying to, you know, uh, have a harvest basically. But he has one pentacle right here under his feet. It's like, that's why it's a card of change in direction. It's like he's realizing like, okay, I've had all this growth in this part of my life. It, it was good, but but I know that there's more. So I feel like you know there's more in life. And you have the Strength card and the Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands to me is a very spontaneous energy, but it's also an energy of building. But it's also an energy of mysteries as to how you are going to build something. There are always pyramids in the background on the Knight of Wands. And I always say the Knight of Wands, he doesn't necessarily like know how the pyramids were built. So it's like some of you could be trying to build something new in this row here, leaving a comfort zone. Maybe you're getting a job where you don't know all the details, or maybe you're getting a job where it's like you're not very clear on exactly how to do the job. So I feel like some of you, that's pretty much all this is saying is that you're just maybe getting a job or something that you're not very clear about, but I feel like you will build it. Uh, for others, maybe you're starting a business here and that will be very successful, obviously. Um, and this could also be like getting into a relationship again um, that with someone who's going to be much more secure, stable, someone who vibes with you with this Two of Cups. Uh, between the Ten of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups, you have the Anchor. I feel like saying things are not always going to be this way. Um, so, but I feel like that's what you thought. I feel like you thought you would never get to this point. This is a lot of success right here. The Ten of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups, and the Nine of Cups in this top row. It's like a lot of success, a lot of happiness, a lot of abundance. And I feel like you never thought that you would um, maybe get to a point where things are better. The anchor says, pull up your anchor, which is like your feelings about things, and move it forward to this new level. This is like leveling up this reading here, Leo. This is an amazing reading. I feel like this is very powerful. Um, it's funny that I kept saying Pisces 
in my head uh, in almost saying it in your reading at the beginning of the reading because Pisces reading was very similar to this in some ways. So if you have Pisces in your chart, if you're dealing with the Pisces, you might want to go watch Pisces. But um, yeah, like I feel like you're, you need to realize that you're in a different place. I feel like you need to anchor yourself in this new abundant place that you're in. Sometimes I feel like, you know, they've done studies on this where, you know, people will be making 50,000 a year and then they'll go to make 100,000 a year. And within a few years, people always drop back down to the 50. And I feel like this reading is saying like, leave that comfort zone, upgrade your comfort zone. Uh, between the two of cups here and the two of wands, you have the 10 of diamonds, which is kind of like the 10 of pentacles, by the way. Uh, this is a card of success and abundance. It's also a card of mysteries as well. I feel like you're just saying like, life's a mystery and with that card. And I feel like you're saying like, wow, I never thought that something like this would happen to me uh, with that card. Uh, next, between the eight of pentacles and the page of uh, pentacles here, you have the Jack of Diamonds. This is called the Scythe. I feel like some of you, this is like a graduation is what's popping into my head. Um, that is not an accurate way to read these cards. Um, again, I read intuitively. I don't regurgitate card meanings. So I always get comments from people that are like, that's not what that means. And I'm, like, I'm always like, yeah, I understand that. But I, you know, I get intuitive messages, not just what the cards mean. So you know, if you want someone who regurgitate card meanings, then you know, go watch someone else. But I'm not that person. Um, if you want intuitive messages, then come here. But I would say that you're graduating. This is like a graduation. And between the Ace of Cups here and the Nine of Cups, love it, amazing. Nine of Hearts, this is called the Rider. This is freaking crazy here, Leo. Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Diamonds. Jack of Diamonds, Page of Pentacles, basically the same card. Then you have the Nine of Hearts, Nine of Cups, basically the same card. Uh, this is a wish coming in for you, so definitely some sort of wish fulfillment. Could be someone moving towards you in love as well, like a knight in shining armor type energy is kind of what I'm picking up there for you, Leo. It uh, could be a water sign. I, I mean, like I said, I, it would not surprise me if some of you were dealing with a uh, Pisces or just a water sign in general. It could also be an earth sign as well. Uh, between the two of wands here and the uh, nine of uh, the seven of pentacles, you have the ship. This is called the ten of spades. This is a card. Uh, how interesting! You have the anchor and the ship. It's like you're pulling up your anchor and you're moving forward. The Ten of Spades is a good card. It just represents going from one place to another. And you have this Two of Wands here. So like I said, it wouldn't surprise me if some of you were moving. You have the Knight of Wands. You could be traveling, moving, wanting adventure, the Rider as well. Uh, between the Page of Pentacles here and the Strength and the Knight of Wands, you have the Fox. I do feel like this is saying like, don't get tricked by someone from the past. Like we were talking about, this could be like, this is like someone new, this Page of Pentacles. This is like an in and out type of energy here with the Knight of Wands. So I would be careful of accepting someone back into your life who was like in and out, you know, especially if it was a negative relationship. If it was positive, then, you know, that's a different story. Um, in your top row here, you have the Coffin. Your life is never going to be the same again, Leo, moving forward. The coffin is the nine of diamonds, and it's like the death card. It kind of says that there needs to be a death. It kind of says you need to, you know, the coffin door is always closed on the coffin in the Lenormand, and it kind of says, like, you need to open the door to this beautiful new future that could be coming into your life. So I feel like you need to open the door. Uh, in this middle row here, you have the Eight of Hearts. Love it. This is amazing here, Leo. Uh, the, the Eight of Hearts is called the Moon. And like I said, the um, right now, manifestation on steroids. The Moon in the Lenormand represents ne needing to manifest your dreams here on Earth. Um, normally, like the Moon in the Tarot kind of says that your dreams could be a fantasy or it could be an illusion or you could be being led astray. But the moon and the Lenormand says you can have whatever you want. You just need to get get to step it. You need to get start manifesting what you want in your life and you will have it. And finally, your bottom row here, you have the seven of hearts. This is called the tree. This is your roots. Um, it, it could be like where you come from. It could be you going back home. You could be traveling. You could be setting your roots down somewhere new. Uh, or you could also be dealing with family as well here, Leo. But Leo, this is an amazing reading. Uh, definitely a lot of success coming in for you. Major changes, very positive changes. So love it. And definitely a lot of abundance as well. I just like looking around here, I do feel like some of you could be waiting for money, but it feels, this feels like a very specific story. I do feel like this could be like an inheritance situation. Again, you would know about it. Um, Leo, uh, people always ask me like, you know, do, do I have some, you know, king grandfather who was a king somewhere who left me millions of dollars? Probably not. You know, um, you know, I would say that you would know about this with that 10 of pentacles. I also feel like it could be money that's owed to you is popping into my head this week. Um, that could be coming in for you. Uh, but this looks amazing. So thank you for watching, Leo, and definitely enjoy your week.